welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome! So today, I thought I'd share my BoxyCharm unboxing with you guys. My BoxyCharm came in so late this month, but I'm going to try and film and upload this today. We'll see how that goes. So let's just jump right into it. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, now on to the box. So this is the box this month, and the theme is La Vie en Rose. I did already take a sneak peek into the box, so we're gonna start off with the first item. This is the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. And I did try this for you guys ahead of time, but just now, right before I was about to film, I accidentally deleted those clips. But it's just a standard peel-off mask. Uh, I did try my first ever peel-off mask in my Ipsy bag that I just uploaded. I'll link that down below so you can check it out. But this one is pretty similar. It smells alright. It smells almost exactly like the Dr. Brandt Womanizing Primer. It's this really pretty rosy color. It is really easy to peel off. I actually peeled mine off in one full piece but uh, make sure you put a thick enough layer. It wasn't painful or anything, so that was nice. But after I used this mask, I felt like I kind of broke out because of it. It wasn't like a full-on breakout, but I did notice a lot more texture and just a few like bumps on my face. Not full-on pimples or anything, but I definitely did not like that. Um, I guess I'm allergic to something in the mask, I'm not sure, but I do have very, very sensitive skin, so that could be the reason. So because of that, I really didn't like this mask. Um, everything about it was amazing, like the color of the mask and the peel-off aspect and everything. Everything was wonderful, except the fact that it made my skin worse, which is uh, the main point of a mask, you know? So yeah, this was definitely a dud for me. Um, I might pass it on and see if someone else could get like a better use out of it But for me, this is definitely a no-go and also a quick tip uh, Probably everyone knows this but I would suggest that you apply it with your hand instead of just squeezing it onto your face Because when I did that some of it dripped off onto my Mike Wazowski pajamas. So yes <sighs> So just be aware just apply it with your hand so that it doesn't drip and goop off onto your clothes. All right on to the next item. So next we have these Moda brushes. This is the Powder and Soft Glow Kit. And I love Moda brushes. I think in my last haul, I bought like a bunch of these unicorn Moda brushes like this. They are so pretty and such great quality. So I'm really excited that we got Moda brushes. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I love the handles. These are so soft. Oh my gosh. The only thing is, I don't know what I would use this kind of brush for. I think I have another brush just like this and I can never really find a use for it, but we shall see. But these are so amazing. I'm so glad we got this in this month's box. So the next item is from Cover Effects. <gasps> this is the Perfector Face Palette. That is so awesome. I love getting palettes. Oh my gosh. Wow, it comes with a huge mirror. It has a film on it, but it comes with a huge mirror and um, let's see, a blush, highlighter, finishing powder, brightener, contour, and highlight. This looks amazing. Looks like something I would travel with. Let's see, let's do a few swatches. So those are some of the powders. They feel really nice so far. They they're very smooth. But we'll see how they apply on the face. As usual, I'm just going to try and use as many shades as possible. I will point and let you guys know which shade I'm using obviously. So let's get to it.
actually really like this palette this is so nice especially for traveling i almost always pack like a gold highlight and a rosy highlight so this has both which is awesome and then this little brightener in the middle is incredible all of these are so pigmented and oh, just love it it's so smooth and it blended out really nice the finishing powder has like little specks of glitter they kind of dust away but if you're like totally anti-glitter then you probably won't like that but i mean it was all right and the fact that we got a cover effects palette in the box it's amazing the blush was super pretty i really like the shade the contour powder i guess was like too similar to my own skin tone so it didn't show up too much but it's really good if you want just a very subtle contour but other than that i loved the palette and it's cover effects so of course, it's very impressive. On to the next item, which is this mascara. This is from Manicadar, and it is their Bloom Mascara. Let me try this baby out for you guys. It has a very interesting wand. I don't think I've ever seen a wand quite like this. It has like three or four of these like little bumps, but hopefully this is a good mascara. Okay, so this is the before and after. I don't know how I feel about this mascara. I feel like I've had better mascaras, so I'm not incredibly impressed. I think I'm more impressed about the packaging than the actual mascara. There is quite a difference, as you can see, but I feel like this mascara is kind of messy. Like, I just opened it and it's already like all over the opening right here. I don't know if it's because of this little circle that's up here. It's broken. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's very hard to show on camera. This area right here, it's broken. So I don't know if that has something to do with the mascara behaving weirdly because it is like all over the top and I, I literally just opened this. So, and every time I like put it back in to get more mascara, it gets even messier. This mascara is also more liquidy than what I'm used to. I guess I like drier formulas a little bit better because I feel like it grips like it really grips onto lashes. This is kind of like slipping and sliding everywhere. It got on my lids and then down here as well and I had to clean it up with a Q-tip. And it doesn't really give you thickness, it does give you length, but the thickness, I, I like thickening mascaras. This doesn't really do that. And I don't know, I, I feel like there's too many negatives for me to want to buy this again. Hopefully the last item will be a good one. So that was kind of a disappointment as well. Hmm, what's going on? Let's move on to the next item. So the very last item in the box is by Ofra Cosmetics and it is their long lasting liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Monaco. This looks like a metallic lip, which I mean, I don't really wear metallic lips on a daily basis, but I don't know, it looks, it looks pretty. So I don't know how wearable this will be. There is the shade for you guys. Now let's try her on. Okay. I like the formula of Ofra liquid lipsticks. So, you know, that part is fine. I don't know so much about the color, like how well it suits me. It is super comfortable on the lips as expected, but I don't know when I would wear this metallic lip. I do have a lot of metallic liquid lipsticks and the way I prefer to use them is with a regular lipstick on the bottom and then I apply the metallic liquid lipstick like right in the center to make my lips look really full and juicy and sometimes I add a lip gloss over that so then my lips look really juicy. So that's probably how I would wear this. I would probably never wear it like full on metallic, you know what I mean? But... This is not bad. This is all right. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to do the kiss test. Let's do it, shall we? Okay. This is totally kiss proof. I have other liquid lipsticks from Ofra and I mean, they're not metallic, but they are definitely not transfer proof. So I am pleasantly surprised. I absolutely love transfer proof liquid lipsticks and it's comfortable. What? Okay, I definitely like this a lot better now that it's transfer proof. I am so impressed. Still, I probably would not wear this just by itself, but 
Now that it's transfer proof, I like it a little bit more. If I were to choose my favorite items in this month's box, it would definitely have to be the palette and the brushes. The other three items I could do without. The Ofra lipstick was okay, but the face mask and the mascara, I just wasn't a fan of. If I were to rate this box, I guess I would give it like a three out of five at most. Um, I've definitely had better boxes in the past and this was kind of, I don't know. I guess the only things that saved the box were the cover effects palette and the brushes. Like if those weren't in here, I probably would have been like super disappointed. But I don't know, it was still such a bummer because I'm so used to BoxyCharm always knocking it out of the park. Hopefully next month it'll be a lot better. Obviously these subscription boxes are hit or miss but we'll see. We'll see how next month goes. All right, guys, so that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box below. Did you love it or were you super disappointed like I was this month? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.